Excellent choice. This is a tale of dark rituals and powerful spirits. The Mongols wished to make themselves great and used these rituals to steal key from three elemental kami. Amaterasu, goddess of the sun. Tsukuyomi, god of the moon. And Susanoo, god of storms. The rituals were draining the kami of their key. So the ghosts set out to save them. At a conquered village, the Mongols had opened a door to the spirit realm to steal key from the Kami. The ghosts resolved to destroy the ritual. Ritual ended. The door between realms closed. But new rituals had already begun elsewhere. The ghost set out in search of these other threats. The spirits of the Kami cried out to the ghosts. Their stolen key was being used to give the Mongols divine protection. Unless the rituals were stopped, and the Kami set free. Tsushima could not. The ghosts found three more rituals. One beside a river, one at a war camp, and one within a canyon. But the Mongols had almost completely drained the Kami. The ghost would need extraordinary strength to defeat them. <laughs>
ghosts ended the ritual, but their fight was far from over. Another ritual was stopped, and another door closed, but the ghost's work was not yet done. The final ritual had been stopped, and the ghosts breathed a sigh of relief. But the Kami whispered to the ghosts that an even greater threat still remained. The darkest Mongol ritual was under the care of the great Onibaba, Iyo.
kami are honorable. They are not. In my darkest hour, I pray to them. But my prayers fell on deaf ears. And an innocent life was lost. I am only taking what they owe me. Do not stand in my way. Iyo's ritual was surrounded by Mongol guardians. The ghosts had to defeat them all. were dead, but Eo's ritual was nearly complete. The only Baba was moments away from victory. Baba sent the Oni to slaughter the ghosts. Baba would not realize her plans. The ghosts were triumphant, and the Kami were free. Balance had returned to the island. All was safe for now. Listen to these tales. <laughs> 